This is Eugene Panrikovich and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the keyboard on a Dell Chromebook 11 second generation and uh, number, the part number or the model number is 3120. This works for both the touch and the non-touch version of the laptop. So before we start, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. A pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables. A hobby knife or an X-Acto knife to remove top of the adhesive tape. And a spudger tool to pry things open. So uh, the best way to do this is to already order a replacement keyboard and have that next to you when during the procedure. That'll make things a lot easier. I'll show you why in a little bit. And uh, we have this keyboard assembly available for sale at www.screensurgeons.com. Just go on our website and fill out a form and we'll guide you to the right part. Or if you're a school district, go to our website, click schools on top, and then there's a separate form for school districts. Okay, so first thing we want to do is make sure the laptop is off. We can either do that by long pressing the power button or just closing the laptop. Next thing, next we have to lift up or remove the bottom cover, and it's secured by seven screws, three on top, two in the middle, and two on the bottom. I've removed six of the screws already and we're just going to remove the seventh screw and put it on the side. There's going to be several sets of screws for each, so for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile and in the order in which I remove them. So next we want to remove the cover or the bottom lid and we use a spudger knife just to go on the side between the rubber part and the plastic part and just to lift it up from the bottom just to pry it open just take your time on this just go around and pry it open and it comes off so we can put it on the side All right. so once we get access to the bottom of the laptop first thing we do is remove the battery to do this, we slide out this battery connector, and then there's two additional screws securing the battery on the bottom. So we do that next. One, and two. So we, I've started a second pile for these two battery screws. Next, we remove the battery, like so and put it on the side. The next thing we want to do is to separate the screen assembly from the bottom from the bottom assembly of the laptop. To do this we have to remove some cables. We have to remove the Wi-Fi cables up here just lift those up and when you're putting them back on they kind of snap on top so use your fingertip or fingernail snap they snap on and then they snap off. So that's one cable we have to remove. The second cable we need to remove is the video cable. So there's some adhesive tape, so we use either tweezers or exacto knife to lift this up. So and there's a metal bar that secures the cable to the connector. And then once we lift up the metal bar, we remove it like that. We it's once when putting it back or removing it, you feel but not hear two clicks. So we just do it like so. This is what looks like properly connected. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. So we do that. Okay, for this next part where we separate the bottom of the laptop from the screen assembly, we want to stand it up on its size so that the hinge is halfway open. And then what we want to do is remove the two hinge screws here, these two, and the two hinge screws at the bottom. So let's do that next. They're in pretty tight, so you have to squeeze it in to get a good start on it. And once again, we start a third pile for this. So one and 
too. And then we remove the bottom screws in the same way as we did the top screws. Okay, next we just kind of work the screen assembly off and find a place where it doesn't get stuck. So just kind of move back and forth and see where it gets stuck and manipulate it off and just put it on the side. So next we're down to the motherboard. It's at this point you want to have the replacement keyboard assembly next to you. And the reason is sometimes the way the keyboard assemblies come, sometimes the speakers are included with this keyboard assembly, sometimes they're not, so sometimes you have to transfer them. And uh, sometimes this USB circuit board is included, sometimes it's not. So you just want to see what comes with it and just transfer the part that doesn't come with it. So what we need to do looks like the USB board is included with the replacement keyboard and the power jack is included with the keyboard and also the speaker. So we have to disconnect three connectors from the existing assembly. So to do that, for first the keyboard, there's a, to remove the connector, there's a plastic bar that we have to pry up like so and then take this connector out then for the speakers we slide the connector back like this and finally for the power jack we use our metal tweezers to lift up the cable there's some adhesive tape so we have something to work with and then slide work this way out this guy out and finally, we have the um, USB board. And on the new cable, on the new keyboard assembly, we have this cable already in there. So we just have to disconnect the USB board cable from the motherboard. So we do the same thing. We lift up this bar like so. So it comes down and it lifts, lifts up. And we slide out the connector. And looks like is it fourth or fifth we have to undo the fourth or fifth connector and this one is to the mouse pad so we want to remove this one so we lift this up so there's a plastic bar so like this put it down and lift this up so I believe that's all the connectors to the motherboard next we have one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. So we remove 10. We remove, yeah, let's remove, yeah, remove 10 screws one by one. Okay, this one is a little bit stubborn. So we're gonna start on this one. One, and once again, we start a fourth pile now. When doing this, make sure you have some sort of static protection, either on a anti-static mat, or as in my case, I'm uh, sitting barefoot on the floor so that the electricity is conducted through. going. This seems like a long procedure but once you do two or three as is usually in the case with skulls, each one shouldn't take no more than 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, almost there.
and last of the silver screws. Okay, so I was hammering. Okay, so Okay, so what I was able to do is use the smaller screwdriver to get traction on this and then what I did is just slide this Wi-Fi board out. So, uh, be very careful with this guy. This guy is troublesome. So, I guess just start, yeah, we get a lot better traction with the small PH0 screwdriver. So, I use the PH0 screwdriver for the Wi-Fi board. Okay, next it should be easier. We just grab the board like this and slide it out and the motherboard is out. So once we do that, we can transfer the motherboard to the new assembly, like so. And then just reverse the procedure. First, uh, put the Wi-Fi board back in, like so. Then uh, attach the troublesome screw here. Attach the screws, reinsert or rescrew the screws back in for the motherboard. Then reconnect all the connectors to the motherboard. Then put the battery back in. Snap the bottom, or after you put the battery back in, stand the laptop on its side, put the screen assembly back in. Then snap the top cover or bottom cover back in put the screws in and you should be done. Just uh, visually inspect everything. Make sure all the connectors are connected, the battery is connected, and the screen assembly is properly connected. Uh, these were designed to be taken apart fairly easily, so it should not be much trouble. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrukovich, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.